quantum mathematics with M's, grade 9, algebraic expressions, lesson 7. So please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's do binomials. A binomial is an expression containing two terms. All the variables have positive whole numbers as exponents. Let's do product of two binomials. For example, simplify a plus b times x, x plus y. So what you can do is we do what we call the FOIL method, or we can even use a diagram. Look at the first diagram, a plus b horizontally and x plus y vertically. Then you find the area of each rectangle, like the first one is ax, the second one is ay, third one is bx, the fourth one is by. And if you add all four of them, it gives you the final answer. The same with the next one. Right, so therefore, that is the one way of doing it. Or you use what we call the method FOIL. The first term, the two outer terms, the inner terms, and then the last two terms. So a times x is an ax, a times y is ay, b times x is bx, b times y is by. So you can follow that method. So instead of using the previous method with a table, with a, with a uh, drawings, this is maybe much easier. Then you can just collect your like terms. Negative 2a plus 4 gives you a 2a. So therefore the answer is a squared plus 2a minus a. Right, let's look at the following example. Uh, simplify x plus 4 times x plus 3. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 3 is 12. Then we collect 3x and 4x and give you 7x. So therefore the answer is x squared plus 7x plus 12. The next one, x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. 3 times x is positive 3x. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Then the 2 in the middle will cancel. You're left with x squared minus 9. Number 3, y plus a half and y minus a half. So y times y is y squared. y times negative half is a negative a half y. y times half times y is positive half y. And a half times a half is negative a quarter. Then the 2 in the middle will cancel. And the answer is y squared minus a quarter. Then the last one, 3p plus q into p minus q. 3p plus p is 3p squared. 3p times minus q is minus 3pq. q times p is positive pq. And q times negative q is negative q squared. Then collect the two in the middle. And the answer is 3p squared minus 2pq minus q squared. Let's look at square of a polynomial. When two identical binomials are multiplied by each other, the process is called squaring a binomial. So the two brackets must be identical. x plus y times x plus y is x plus y squared. So you can still FOIL, the FOIL method, x times x squared, x times y is xy, then y times x again xy, y times y is y squared, then collect the two xy's, and the answer is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Or if you can look at the diagram, and you can also apply the same method there. Oh, you can square with the, so there's also a shorter way of doing it. You can square of the first terms of the binomial. Then in the middle, you just say twice the product of the binomial's first and last terms. And then you square the last term. So you can either choose that shorter method of doing it. Look at another example. P plus Q times P plus Q gives you P plus Q squared. Of course, which will be P times P is P squared. P times Q is PQ. Q times P is PQ and Q times Q is Q squared, then collect the like terms, and the answer is P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. So that's a FOIL method, or you can again use those drawings and just add the different areas. Right, if we look at the next one, X plus 3 times X plus 3. Of course, you can also apply the shortcut now. You can say X times X is X squared. Then you can say X times 3 is 3X and double it to give you 6X. And then 3 times 3 is 9. Same with the next one, you can just say X times X is x squared, then of course x times a half times 2, it will give you 1x, and a half times a half is a quarter. 
This is number 4. x times x is x squared. x times 5 times 2 is negative 10x. And of course, negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. The next is number 5. x plus y squared on its own will give you x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And the other bracket, the same, x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Get rid of the brackets and then collect your like terms. And the answer should be 4xy. And this is a little exercise which you can try on your own. The solutions are on the next page. Here's your solutions. So 8 minus 6c times 8 plus 60 gives you 64 minus 36c squared. 2x minus 6y times 8x minus 5y will give you 16x squared minus 58x plus 30. Number 3, 2a plus b times c plus d will give you 2ac plus 2ad plus bc plus bd. Number 4, 2x minus 7 squared will give you 4x squared minus 28x plus 49. And number 5 will give you 3 into x squared minus 10x plus 25. And of course, plus x squared minus 9. Get rid of the brackets, collect your like terms, and the answer is 4x squared minus 30x plus 66. Remember, it is important that you must work through these examples to make sure you understood exactly how to do each one. Hi, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics Ams. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.